we would like to bring up the S&P 500 and we're going to say that this is a 616 regular monthly 1300 put and they are buying in big blocks right here because once again the S&P has had a great run and we were long these 1350 calls and we sold out at four dollars and twenty cents up on the high and we paid between forty and sixty cents and we did and you can find those great trades on how to trade upside volatility on the other hand with all the worldwide stimuluses going on right now and Mr. Bernanke talking in the Chinese lowering rates a quarter percent today before you know early before pre-market was to give these markets a boost however the conviction is right now that the put option that we are buying at lower price levels of course is if everything fails unlike getting paid big over here now we look at where this market is going to be discounted to capital risk entry at its very lowest prices should we have any continuing bear volatility that may come back we are well suited once again I congratulate MMTs for taking their 1350 call selling up here at between 420 and 440 and what your percent gains were it was a nice way to trade that whole rally that whole European hogwash settlement who cares that's the way they took the market and equities right now we're up 95 on the Dow but we're looking at that and we're also going to get into the ranges like the price line 659 down here to 639 $19.97 reversal short now they're coming up off the bottom like gangbusters and an MMT identified that one yes I must say so the time is 8.50 a.m. Pacific Standard Time 6 7 2012 Ben Bernanke it looks like he's going to be taking a break you have his testimony going on so we do have a break with testimony policy there are lots of things that's a different discussion but once again we have bids down here if they want to keep this rally going short term and volatility we got bids down here between 85 cents and a dollar ten uh, right now that 1300 put you can see where people are buying big at eight dollars uh, over here some of the last prints you can see right here three hundred at eight dollars four hundred at eight dollars these are people buying at eight dollars right now the bid is six uh, is five forty by seven yes once again my friends and the MMTs we will steal the bid uh, why everyone was buying on the highs for their protection and once again we'll keep the lower bids 28,000 contracts traded so far the low is 510 and we will mark to market this S&P trade on that side we already got paid on the call side we already got paid up and out of the money here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the other side of the cheapest valuation that we can get when the S&P has made it's still slightly negative territory in our yearly formula so basically MMTs the resistance level that we got to negative one eighth on the calendar year was 1324.14 and we're trading slightly below that negative one eighth that means the bear is only negative one eighth delta in our system so you know once again uh, counter rallies European news headlines it's all how to take advantage of the directional price movement and get paid and understanding both directional sides of the 575 calls that were up here at $13 that are being sold short down on Google and the 580 calls that were at 880 that are finally coming down to 265 and the put side that 580 put right here right now is still a transaction that can be made at wholesale prices this 590 put that expires and these are weeklies right here okay these are weeklies they expire tomorrow right now everyone's on break and they're gonna have their views I'm just updating the MMTs today on FOMC day and how prices have worked and reversals how they sell these resistance levels 
how the big flyers like the ISRGs are master cards shorting the highs down to the lows. Top reversal shorts 425 on MasterCard to 418 as well. We have plenty of other ones such as CMG. As they all high beta stocks go back up in their counter trend rallies, we look at selling short because growth contraction is around the corner. That means that they have between now and the July reporting season and price volatility is here to stay. They're within the austerity packages that are created. Trading ranges will be there. And once again, when the high flyers hit the tops, it's those same high flyers like these ISRGs that are when, when, when it was down at its lows, we shorted it way up at the highs and then we had to get long off of the lows a few days ago. And I'll show you a daily chart on ISRG. I'll be happy to. ISRG. And here's the thing. Um, when ISRG was right up here at its daily tops, as everyone knows, we shorted it from 580 and we got an $80 reversal. But when we got down here at the bottom, we had to get net long off the bottom with, and we've had a four day reversal from the, it's, it's had a very nice move. Take a look at it. Right here, 542 is a high. It, it's had over, it had $42 movement in, in four days. So, but now when they come back up, of course it's time to get net short again on those highs because no matter what happens fundamentally, they have to address the lower earnings contraction growth, which I will do in a separate video so that you're up to date for the longer term called slower growth. Means that everything is overpriced in the near term still but once again knowing how to go long like we did off of that bottom but then getting the $80 short when the markets were at their all-time 52 week highs and look at it you know that was our first one we got out hey these were the double top reversals bam that was a low it wasn't going to go any lower and it hit our target man so the thing about it is we're going to be getting new positions and I'm going to be going over all of these with our MMTs